In the Complete Beginner's Guide to Autodesk Revit course, we covered the use of Revit Rooms. Now, Revit Rooms are 3D objects that you place into your model that can be used to calculate room area and volumes. They can also be used to store a lot of useful information about your spaces. So here is a room I've already added to this project. So if I click on the room, there is some of the instance parameters. We've got some read-only ones there, um, areas, unbounded heights, volume, etc. And you can see there is plenty of opportunity to add your own data to these objects. Now, when you place Revit rooms into your project, their boundary is contained or defined by walls and also room separation lines. However, whether a wall is capable of containing a room is totally up to you, and that's where the room bounding parameter comes in. So if I go up to the architecture menu and select room and hover over the model, you can see that all the walls here are forming a boundary. They're stopping the room uh, going any further or into the next space. So I could click to place that in there. But for now, I'm just going to come out, hit Modify to Cancel, and I'm going to select one of these walls. Now, if we look down at its instance parameters, this is the particular parameter we're interested in, room bounding, currently ticked on. It's only a simple on or off, that's the only choice we have. If I go ahead and uncheck it, this wall is no longer capable of forming a boundary to a room. So when we go to place a room, it will literally spill out into the next space. I can demonstrate that now. If I go back to architecture, room, and just hover over, you can see there in blue that the boundary does in fact still go around that wall, but this wall has no part to play in containing that room. Now in the example we've just looked at here, our rooms are contained by the walls right up to their finished face. We do actually have a choice of where these room boundaries lie in relationship to our walls. Go back to our wall itself, so select a wall instance. As we've seen We've only just got room bounding as a simple checkbox in here, so we've got no way of controlling where that boundary lies from within the wall properties. It's actually contained within the room settings. So if you go to architecture, and on the room and area panel, you click that there, and it's area and volume computations, and you look down here, let's move that over to one side, room area computation and there's some choices here at wall finish which is what it's set to here we can have a wall center at wall core layer or at wall core center so let's go to the center of the wall click that let's move that back over so i can okay it and now you can see our rooms extend into the center line of our walls Now the vast majority of the time you are going to want your Revit walls to actually contain rooms. So I'll just select that piece of wall there. You are going to want that room bounding parameter turned on so that your rooms fill up just inside your walls. However, there may be instances where you don't want them to contain rooms. Here's an example here um, of a toilet area. So I would suggest in a typical architectural project and you're producing a room schedule, you want to know the overall area of this as a toilet space. You're not going to want to schedule individual cubicles. So if I go to room and I hover over there, click it in place, because that cubicle wall there at the front has its room bounding property turned off, the rooms flow in to those two cubicles. Just be careful. If you're actually interested in the floor area of that whole space, you need to turn off the room bounding property of the dividing cubicle walls because there is a sliver of room, if you like, there that's not being calculated in the area. So just select those cubicle walls, the cross walls, turn off the room bounding property, and now you get the true area of the overall space. 
This is a sample video from the Ultimate Guide to Autodesk Revit Walls online course. For full details of this course, please visit bimscape.com.